Okay, I'll uh, welcome back. Uh, I wanted to briefly talk about uh, now actually ending in-text citations. We talked about in-text uh, works cited page. Now, how do we take those and make them into parenthetical citations up into the actual um, essay that you're working on? And uh, how you do that is it's really easy if you've done the if you've done it right if you've done the works cited page first. Okay, so let's say this is the 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 um, source that we're working with uh, Kelsey Osgood's uh, source. Let's we're going to put it right up into this. Okay, so let's pretend like she said that for some reason. So what you would do is you would always go to whatever comes uh, first in your works cited page, and that's what goes up into this. So because we had her last name. That's what would go up into this. Okay, notice that the period uh, goes on the outside of the parenthetical. Always goes on the outside of the parenthetical, so that's where that is. Okay, let's pretend like this, for some reason, was a direct quote uh, from Kelsey. It would look like that. Okay, uh, so the uh, whatever is quoted would be in quotation marks. No period here, but the period would go on the outside of the parenthetical again. Okay, uh, and one more thing, let's pretend like uh, there was a page number, which there isn't, but for the sake of arguing this out of a book, uh, it would go like that. Okay, you'd put the page number right in here. Okay, the, the uh, biggest mistake that I see with these is that people want to put a comma between the, the author's name and the, the page number. That is not needed. Uh, don't do it. Okay. Most of you aren't going to have things with page numbers, though I assume uh, some of you are maybe going to actually touch books, but most of you won't, which is fine. Um, but uh, if, it, if it doesn't have a page number, then you don't put anything there. Okay, So it looks like that. Okay, so that's the basics. So whatever goes first down here is what goes up here. Now, sometimes you're going to be using things without authors' names. Okay, uh, the first thing I, if you're if you're uh, working with something without an author's name, the first thing I would do is question the credibility of whatever it is that you're looking at. Uh, we're going to talk about that a little bit uh, in a minute. But if it's still something that you want to use, then the, it would be whatever comes next in that works cited list. So let's pretend like uh, there is. Uh, no uh, name there, so there is no last name, so what would come first is the title of the piece, and so that's what would go up here in the parenthetical. Okay, pretty simple. If you do the works cited page first, in-text citation is really easy. But if you do get confused, you can always ask me, or you can always go to... Um, uh, you can always go to Writer's Help and, and look there. If you'll uh, look to the left once again, there's a directory to MLA in-text citation models. You can click on that. It'll kind of give you a, a rundown of what to expect. Okay, uh, And so that's that's available. Also, Word has an uh, automatic insert function that you are, you're welcome to use as well, although I usually don't use it just because it screws things up for some reason. So, okay. So I want to talk for a minute about the actual sources uh, that you use. I want you to use credible sources for whatever it is that you're writing about. You should be the, the uh, source manager for that. You should be able to decide whether or not it's credible. I always get questions about Wikipedia. Now, uh, I'll, I'll be upfront and honest, and I'm not really ashamed of this. The, Wikipedia is always the first place I look when I'm trying to find something out about something. Uh, mainly because they have something about everything. Uh, for instance, this is my favorite uh, Wikipedia entry here. It's on the heavy metal umlaut. Uh, umlaut are these, <laughs> they're also called rock dots apparently, but it's these, uh, the, the two dots above valves. Uh, here I'll give you an example. Uh, here's one uh, from Spinal Tap. They put it above the N, which makes no sense, which is awesome because that is a funny movie. Anyway, uh, okay. So uh, it has a whole list down here of, of, of bands that have used uh, umlauts. Uh, look, there, even here there's a California trash band named Beowulf uh, that uses it above the U, which uh, doesn't make any sense, but that's okay. Uh, one of my favorite bands, Husker Du, uses one. Uh, Anyway, so so it gives a whole bunch of these, okay? So it's it's a great source because it has all these things, but once again, it's not where, it's where I start, but it's never where I finish. And there's several reasons for that where I'm going to show you one in a second. But I also want to point out to you, and I think most of you probably do know this, but at the bottom of a, of a Wikipedia entry is actually a bibliography. This is almost always a better place to go. This will have direct... Uh, direct information that will be better used than the, the other. Uh, one of the reasons why uh, I don't like seeing uh, Wikipedia entries into uh, a works cited page is because if you go into Wikipedia, 
it's usually there there's an old rule that basically says if it's in the public knowledge uh then you don't need to cite it uh and that include encyclopedias and different things like that so uh you, there's some debate on whether or not, even if you use it, whether or not you need to cite it. If you use a word-for-word -word quote from it, then you d always need to cite it. But um, uh, short of that, uh, you, you don't really, if you're just uh, gleaning uh, basic information, most of the time you don't need to cite it. Okay. Uh, the other reason that I wanted to talk about with this is, uh, you know, it's, um, actually, I'll let him do the talking for me. This is the Colbert Report. I uh, did this a few years ago, uh, and so I'll just we'll just watch it, and I think it does a good job of explaining. Okay, instead of actually, I was gonna uh, embed that video right into this, but it uh, took time to buffer and different things like that, and it wasn't a very good uh, source. And so what I'll do is I'll just include uh, this clip with uh, with these videos, so you can watch it on your own. It'll be a, you can watch it in full screen. It'll be better. So um, yeah, and he summarizes basically why I. Uh, don't like you using Wikipedia as well, uh, and you'll see why, but essentially it's because it's malleable, and that's sometimes a bad thing. So um, go ahead and watch that on your own, and good luck. If you have any questions with uh, MLA, you can look it up, or you can write me, and I'll, I'll try and get back to you. Okay, good luck. Okay, bye.